Hey folks, Hardy here, the Irrational Loser, and in today's Survival Minecraft, we take on the challenge of building a skeleton spawner, as well as a few other things. So let's get to it. So since last episode, we have got this filled completely out. This is just full of wheat. This is all of the wheat all in. I have filled the hedges in for the other ones. I might extend this carrot one out a wee bit, don't know yet. But we've got the beetroot one and the potato one kind of ready. And these, hopefully, can expand all the way to our main build area. So this is the area I want to talk about. This is where I want our main build to be. And then we branch out from here, building up other areas. Kind of like where our iron farm is, being a seaside village sort of thing. Now the reason I'm doing this is because there is a... There is a significant boundary with these villages. So we've got one village here. So we've got an outline from like all the way over here. We've got a village in the middle right here. Smaller, but still a village. So it can walk all the way down here. And then there's a village right here as well. Now this one is a zombie kind of village, a dead one. But it gives us a general idea of an outline. What, like a cityscape or a, a massive town. But I would say more cityscape. Now I'm into medieval sort of builds and things like that so that's probably one of the major things i will do is build medieval style but it is such a massive area that i want to get built on that it's just going to look so good so you can just see our village from over there coming in and then we'll have the hills and the, the fields and all that working its way into the big massive cityscape i think i've said this before but this this is where everything's going to be. And where I'm standing, right here, is where I want to build our main base, which will be a fort, almost. So, a kind of port fort where the soldiers sort of stay, like a garrison, if that's the way you want to call it. And we come in and it's connected to the water for ships and things like that. And that will be our main build with storage and things like that. So it's one where I'm standing, Pretty much down that way, along that way, and along this way. And then we have the jetty area here on the beach. That's where I want to build. Now my problem right now is, I have zero resources for anything at all. So what I need to go and do is set up a mine shaft, which I have not done yet, but I have some tools ready to go, and I have an area I want to build on, which is fairly close to our zombified village, but it also has a double purpose one for the mining area and two a skeletal spawner so yeah i am underground at the moment but i am in free cam mode so we do have a skeleton spawner right here which is in the middle of our village right there and that village and that one so it would be kind of on the path for our fields to come along anyway uh, if we're coming along to come into the city centre sort of thing. Uh, it would So I think the city would kind of stretch up to this point and use this river as its edge. That would kind of be the, the way I would want to go. So I could use this as a sort of mining area and dig down obviously and get all of our, the stuff that we need. So I want to dig down to, to diamond level, down to that spawner, which is quite low. Uh, it's about minus 46, almost at the bottom for diamond level. It's a really good idea just to put that there and have it so that we have the spawning area and all that sort of set up. Now, I do need to find the exact point I want to dig down so that we can hit it but not have to worry about any other things like this. I think this one's pretty good. 2432 takes us straight into the center of it. Yeah, so this is the center. So I would dig here all the way down and dig here all the way down as well one for drop shaft and one for an elevator back up uh, only problem is i don't have anything like soul sand so that we can get the bubble column up that's that's for later but it is a start so we are going to get that going and see how well we get done and that is the basics done so we have a drop shaft all the way down with some water down at the bottom there and we have this one coming back up once we get some soul sand we can then create a bubble column which will shoot us right all the way up allowing us to get up to the top without losing any breath or dying 
So, it shouldn't be too bad. But if we drop down, like so, I've got this little area here where you can like and subscribe. And then just along this wall here will take us out to this, which is our zombie spawner. Not zombie spawner, skeleton spawner. Now, I don't have any torches, which is silly of me. So I do need to head back up and hopefully find some coal and get some torches. Now, I do have wee ducats that go in just to allow me to stop and catch my breath, which is something I do suggest doing. Uh, one thing I do know is I can get about halfway, not a problem, and then I can get up the rest of the way quite easily, so it's not too bad. But this is a wee area. This is where we are going to set up our mineshaft building. Now, I do need to kind of try and figure out where the centre of the path will be. So, it should be on the right-hand side as we're coming in. So, I am going to quickly just mark it down this cobblestone like this. That means we can get a door there and make it look a bit nicer when we get there. But this is us got a basic mineshaft area set up. So, let's go and get some torches and some chests because we are going to need a lot for the resources that we do find. Now, because this does go down to diamond level, I do have another problem though. I am going to be using a lot of stone in my builds, so I do need to find a level where I can mine lots of stone and not have to worry about it. So I'm thinking maybe about here. You mine in. Oh great, what are you doing? So as I said, I do need to find a wee area that will allow me to mine up a lot of stone. So I actually was digging there, but I think, yeah, this is, this is stone. Okay, so I don't need to mine out another area then. I just need to set this up and then I can set up this like this so we place that and then we can put this bucket here so and this is this is a fancy thing right so we go all the way up well hopefully we go all the way up like this oh my gosh so we go all the way up and I, I, I like this is one of the fun things i think that minecraft does so we come up to the top we come to this one now we can jump down here and we can reach this first level if we hold nothing if we hold nothing we can reach that first level right let's try that again i need to go down two then if I place sign there, lift that off, I'm going to sleep real quick, swim all the way back up to the top, because this should work. Right, so we we'll go down, we hold space. No. Ah, is it because we're going too fast? It may be because we are going too fast. I'll pop that sign down like that. We'll try this again with a, a larger amount of area. Hold space, we should stop. No, we just fall right through. That should stop us. I wonder why it's not. Maybe it's got something to do with a trapdoor, because I know a trapdoor will work. Because that's one, two, three, that's four layers of water. Are we going down that fast that we're hitting that? No, there's no way. That is... That is pure random. Because I've done this before and it's worked. Hmm. Weird. That might be something we need to look into. But we do have a, an area where we can get some stone and things like that. But let's dig this way. And we can get to the skeleton spawner. And light it up so that it, we can disable it. There we go. There we go. All lit up and nice and disabled. Let's see what we got. Oh, a uh, flame book. That's nice. We get some iron horse armor as well. Redstone, that's really good. And, oh, look at that. We can actually get a horse. Uh, nope, nope. Eh. Then we can just throw these round here like this, and that is it disabled. As simple as that. Now, we could just quickly set this up as a mob spawner and get that going as quickly as possible, which is kind of what I want to do, because obviously having this would just be so much more beneficial now than later 
because once we get diamonds and obsidian and get the chapman and all that set up this is going to be so good for that sort of stuff so that is going to be a plan but let me just dig out a wee space so we can set up some chests for any of the resources that we do get we are going to get starting this if you do not know how to build one of these it's fairly simple and honestly there's lots of tutorials out there i hopefully will have one set up for you so that you can watch it fairly soon but let me get digging this and we'll do it in the form of a time lapse some skeletons spawning this is just going to be basic it will bring them down here and i can just hit them this will allow me to get some levels get some bones and things like that it's not the best but until i can get into the nether to get soul sand and things like this this is going to be the best we can do for just now so it's a case of i do this i'm going to get bones i'm going to get arrows i'm going to get some um bows as well i couldn't get the word there and yeah this is going to allow me to get some good weapons and then i've got that book for the flame bow i can add that on and then this is just going to build up and build up and build up and it will just let me do some things while i'm afking and things like that as well which is handy and there goes my sword i am out but yeah that's it pretty much done we get nine bows from whatever we just done there which is fine but it is super simple to make and super simple to upgrade when we get to that point. As soon as we get some soul sand, I'm in here upgrading this so that it runs more efficiently and more faster. I can add bubble columns, drop shafts, get them down to 1 HP, lift them up to about here so that I um, can get them out easier. Probably get them to just where I'm standing so that it's not affecting spawn rates as much as this is. But until that point, we are doing what we are doing. So yeah, we now have an XP farm, which is lovely. We now need to get some diamonds. So it's going to be digging in that way. I need a new sword. I don't know if I brought... Oh, I do. I have some iron. No sticks though. So I do need to go and get a wee bit of that. I have set up this little area right here right now. This is normally about the size that I go when I am building out my mine shafts. So it is quite a wee bit long, and it'll go quite a wee bit long that way. But these torches are specifically placed for a specific reason. So there is 11 block space in between each of them, right? So that then when they get to a certain point, say six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So number six, if we go along six in that direction, we can place a torch bang smack in the middle and it will light up the whole area with as minimal amount of torches as possible. And that's what I like about that placement. 
But as you can see, we've got a load of diamonds all the way down here. And I've already picked up a diamond from digging along this bit. And I just need to collect these so that I can go and make a diamond pickaxe. Because there is a lot of obsidian up there. That one we just dug out. You've got to dig around because you don't always see the spare diamonds that are hiding. And there is always some hiding somewhere in these walls. So that's cool. I'll just double check this bit. Right, and I think there's a couple more here. Uh, there was one right in this space here. This bit which obviously I had to dig out for that wee three space. Now you may have noticed something a wee bit there different. That was tuft. That was a tuft diamond block. And the reason for that is because I do think that Minecraft should, should have all the different variants of stones have their own ore variants. And that's what's in this. There is ore variant stones. So you can get diorite ores, granite ores, andesite ores, off block ores. I think it is an amazing thing. As you can see right there, tough block redstone. And yeah, it's cool. It does just add that wee bit extra. But there is a lot of space up here. Whoa. that's cool uh, but yeah there's a lot needing lit up in here see more diamonds over there i'm going to go get them this is what i love about minecraft it's so fun and this is not modded brain hello spider creepy oh that's a powerful bow oh there's so many skeletons dodge and weave dodge and weave whoop oh gosh you have a strong bow i'm gonna die Whew. Nothing like a jump scare to wake you up, eh? Will you just die? Thank you. Alright, that's that pretty much lit up. May find a few other spots, but other than that, we're pretty much done in this wee area. Ooh, now I can calm down and mine some of the diamonds I've just found. Like I said, always mining and about. See, there you go. We would never have seen that. Oh, really? I think that's the aim. No, look at this one. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look at this one. There's some more, see, see, always look, and I am loving this, the tough block diamonds, they're actually quite fun to see and find, right, uh, ooh. oh, look, there's more to light up, right, get these diamonds now, get a skeleton, oh, it's a bonus, and he's got an enchanted bow, why are none of you dropping a bow, always light up everywhere, oh, help, late game, ooh, there's a witch, yeah, you can laugh because you scared me. Eat it with your poison. Thank you. Right, awesome. I think that's that all lit up now. Maybe not. Maybe that wee bit there. Oh, there's another wee cave system here. Diamonds. Always got to look. Oh, I'm done. Right, how are we doing? 23 diamonds. That's not too bad. For our first little adventure down into mining. Could be better because I've not fully explored... The possibility of mining out the way. Oh, there's more stuff this way. There are those creepers. Hmm, that's it. No diamonds, but it's always good to light everywhere up. But I still need to get 10 diamonds to get a full amount of armor and tools, not including the hole. So, not too bad, not too bad. And I think it will be easy just to get that fairly soon. If I mine out the way and start doing the digging of my mine shaft sort of thing, then I'll surely find them quite easily. So I am going to go do that and I will see you in a wee bit. Alright, so we are done digging this place out. And oh my gosh, did we get a lot of stuff, including some slime balls. There was a slime chunk just over there. Uh, I can't remember where I got them. And they've got all this stuff as well, but we do have things up here where our spawner is. Yeah, in here we have all the other cobble deep slate we got, but we also got 14 diamonds on top of the 33 we got for armor and tools, which is actually amazing. Um, oh, that was from the spawner. I got a couple of bows as well. Which is nice, especially when you just come down and get them from these guys. But yeah, I think we've done really well to begin with. Now, obviously, I'm not wanting the cobbled deep slate as much as I need it. 
this is really just for diamonds and the second level up there is all for the stone until I get a stone farm going. But yeah, we have enough for tools now. So let's make up our tools. So we need our diamond chest plate. We need our diamond boots. We need the diamond helmet. And we need some diamond leggings. Then we have our sword, our pickaxe, our shovel, and our diamond axe. Nice. Wow. That's so nice to actually just do. Like now we're fully kitted in diamond. With 14 extra diamonds left over, that's enough for an enchantment table. So that's good. And 12 diamonds left over to repair until we can get mending books. But yeah, one thing I do need to do is get a whole load of obsidian, which is quite handy that I've got it here. Now, where's my bucket of water? Well, I don't know what I've done with my bucket of water, but I made a new bucket. I'm just going to jump down and grab some water. But I have this guy here which I just tamed around and about us. And we do have a 11 block meters per second sort of thing. And a four jump height. Well, almost four jump height. It's not fully four. But I need a name for this guy. If you can give me a wee name down in the comments, I'd be very much appreciated for that. Okay, so I have my bucket of water. This is what we're going to do. We're going to find a wee corner like this, place the bucket down, and start mining obsidian in a direction. Now the reason I'm doing this is because when you mine obsidian there is a chance there may be lava underneath it. Yeah, lava underneath it can cause you to die. You never dig down obsidian, always use a water bucket beforehand. It will probably save your life. So how much obsidian do I need? So I need the four here for an enchantment table and then I need another Minimum 10, 14 to be picky if you need the corners of your obsidian for a nether portal. So getting this will allow us to get into the nether to get some soul sand and things like that. For the bubble column and certain farms we may need or even elevators like we've got here. It's just a nice thing to have. And there you go, a wee bit of lava. And there we have 18. Perfect. Right, let's jump up here. We will put four away in here for our enchanting table, which we don't have enough stuff to set up yet. But, oh, it's nearly night time. Okay, so I'm back at the spawn chunks here. I'm actually going to place this one here, as this is spawn. And if I die, then I have closer access to the nether. Or to an, an area that we can get to easily because of nether network. Now, this is how you build it. So it's four by four, five on each side. 14 in total. And then you need the flint and steel, click it like that, and you light the portal. And then all you do is step it 